This is a volcano breakthrough. Scientists now have a new method to predict when volcanic eruptions will occur. They've been telling us for quite some time from USGS and other agencies that it's impossible to predict earthquakes even though they work with statistics and can predict just about when to expect a major earthquake. Now they have a new method of finding out how magma can be viewed, can be assessed to see when another earthquake, another uh, volcanic eruption will be probable. This is by Tom Fish from Express UK. The volcanic eruptions could one day be predicted. This is after cutting edge research in one of Europe's most volatile volcanoes comes to light. As we know, one of the worst is the Campi Flegri, it's a super volcano in Italy. And a lot of the Italy volcanoes are quite active right now. Stromboli and uh, Etna, for example. Now a new method designed by a multinational research firm could potentially allow geologists to predict how a volcanic eruption will occur with great precision, they say. They combine physics and statistics and the new technique reportedly chases the magma to understand what path it will take from the depths of the Earth's core. Magma, as we know, frequently does not spew from the main mouth of the volcano. It can find other routes, for example, fissures or dikes and uh, even fractures, earth fractures. Now, this example is what happens in Iceland's Bardarbunga eruption. This is what happened in August 2014 and also in Hawaii's Kilauea in August 2018. This is why volcanologists are faced with serious challenges to predict what will happen with the aim of minimizing the risks of uh, volcanic eruptions to the populations in the areas. Well, this research led by Italian scientist Dr. Eleonora Rivalta. She developed a new technique which can be invaluable for planning and exploitation of the soil in areas at risk. Dr. Rivalta says, when trying to predict how an eruption will occur, and the main difficulty lies in the fact that magma is transported underground, and because of this, obviously, it's not visible with the naked eye. We can't see what's happening underneath. Researchers have only been able to employ precise monitoring tools in the last 20 years, and this reveals dynamics by helping them with computer models. Dr. Rivalta explains that the new volcano prediction combined two levels of analysis. She says that his methods are used up to now are based either only on statistics, and now is analyzing the sites in which previous eruptions occurred more frequently, or only on physics, that is, calculating the paths that offer the least resistance to the magma. In the first case, the available data are not sufficient to draw up a fairly accurate map, while in the second case, the forces involved are difficult to assess accurately. As she goes to explain, we have combined the two methods based on the physical method, but calibrating it so that it is compatible with the eruptive data. Now, researchers demonstrated the validity of this new technique. They tested it in the Flegrian fields in the uh, Campi Flegri, meaning the uh, fields of fire in Europe, Europe's most dangerous supervolcano, one of the areas with the highest volcanic risks on Earth, and it's a supervolcano as we know. The area extends for more than six miles, that's 10 kilometers. It has about 80 fractures in the ground that have erupted with regularity in the past 15,000 years. So the researchers concluded, quote, the most difficult part was to make the method valid for every volcano. The secret lies in quantifying well all the forces of the subsoil, which will always be different 
and recalibrate the model every single time. The Phlegrin Fields, or Campi Phlegri, meaning to burn, is a large supervolcano in the west of Naples, Italy, declared a regional park in 2003. The caldera consists of 24 craters and volcanic edifices. Most of them lie underwater, though. Hydrothermal activity can be observed in the area of Lucrino, Agnano, and the town of Pozzuoli. There are also effusive gaseous manifestations at the Solfatara crater, sulfur, sulfuric, gas, sulfuric gases, the mythological home of the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. This area is monitored by the Vesuvius Observatory. The area features brady seismic phenomena, which are most evident in the Macellum of Pozzuoli, bands of boreholes left by marine mollusks, on marble columns show that the level of the site is in relation to the sea level has varied. The Phlegrin period thought to have erupted in the volcano uh, eruption of about 39,280 years ago, erupted 200 cubic kilometers or 48 cubic miles of magma to produce the Campion Ingnimbi eruption with a volcanic explosivity index of 7. The second flagrant period was between 35,000 and 10,500 years ago. The third flagrant period between 8,000 years ago up to 500 years ago. Material forms the majority of volcanoes in the fields. And more recently, the recent history. The caldera now is essentially at ground level, accessible on foot, containing many fumaroles from which steam can be seen issuing over 150 pools. In 1538, an eight-day eruption in the area deposited enough material to create a new hill, Monte Nuevo, and it has risen about seven feet from ground level since 1970. A 2009 journal article stated that inflation of the caldera center near Pozzuoli might presage an eruptive event within decades. Of course, we would expect that if you have some kind of a, a rising of the ground, of course it would mean an eruption. In 2012, the International Continental Scientific Drilling Program planned to drill two and a half miles below the Earth's surface near Pompeii in order to monitor this massive molten rock chamber below and provide early warning of any eruption, local scientists are worried that such drilling could itself initiate an eruption or an earthquake. In 2010, the Naples City Council halted the drilling project. Program scientists said the drilling was no different from industrial drilling in the area. The newly elected mayor allowed the project to go forward Reuters article emphasized that the area could produce a supervolcano that might kill millions. Now, in August 2017, there was a magnitude 4 earthquake on the western edge of Campi Flegra area. And uh, we know that, of course, it's a very volatile, very delicate place. And we also know that we have uh, a list of various listing of, uh, let's see, the volcanoes in Italy. There's quite a few. And uh, this is Wikipedia I'm reading from. There's at least 40. 40. The ones that have most recently erupted are Vulcini, 104 BC, Vulcanello, 1550, Volcan, Volcano at 1890. Mount Vesuvius erupted in 1944. Pantel, Pantelleria in 1891. In, and also Ferdinand Dea in uh, it's a submarine volcano 1831. Campi Flegri in the Sea of Sicilia 
1911. Again, Campi Flegri, 1538. And uh, there's many others here that were a lot older than that, 10,000 years ago, 5,000 BC, and the like. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.